Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's October 7th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update, first to the fourth quarter for 2022. And I'm here with Chris Flossy from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Chris, thanks for being here. Thanks, uh, relatively quiet uh, week in the uh, markets as people were looking forward to the uh, jobs report that came out this morning. Uh, let's start by talking about what you saw earlier in the week, and then we'll take a look at the impact of the jobs report. Yeah, sure. So over the, the course of the week, we saw some increased bid wanted activity, which was nice to see. Um, a bulk of that activity came in the 20-year maturities and in. Um, and then it was nice to see some, with, along with this bid wanted activity, we actually saw some client buying, which was something we haven't seen in recent weeks. So that was above uh, historical norms, I would say, over the past four or five weeks. Uh, so it was, it's always nice to see the buying go along with the selling. That's a great point, because one of the things we watch, obviously, is the liquidity of BAM insured bonds in the market overall. In the last couple of weeks, uh, the annual, uh, the average weekly trading of BAM insured bonds has been well above a billion dollars, um, which is elevated uh, compared to uh, the last year or so. So definitely, uh, as you said, more liquidity in the market overall, yeah. even though uh, new issue activity has been somewhat uh, constrained. Um, it'll be interesting to see how new issue market responds next week. As we said, the uh, September jobs report came out this morning. It showed slightly higher payroll growth and slightly lower unemployment rate than was expected. Um, the market has, uh, the treasury market has jumped a little bit, about five uh, or six basis points since that. Um, on an expectation, this means the Fed is going to stay the course and continue to tighten uh, its interest rate policies uh, through the end of the year. The, the, the pivot to a uh, a, a more stable uh, short-term interest rate policy is a, is a little further out. Have you heard any reaction? Uh, oftentimes, uh, it takes the muni market a couple of days to respond to that kind of economic news. Have you heard anything uh, yet today? Uh, thus far, munis are steady. So it's the we'll look forward to next week to see if there's any a uh, little bit of a delayed reaction, but we'll look forward to that next week. After the next week, there's a holiday shortened week with uh, Indigenous Peoples Day. So we'll see what happens uh, when we come back on Tuesday. And certainly the, the calendar remains light, and that's a, that's a relief to some institutional investors. Uh, Lipper's uh, data on fund flows was negative. Again, I think it was negative $2 billion of outflows in the week ended uh, October 5th, uh, and then uh, that followed $3.6 billion the previous week. So uh, still a lot of uh, concern on the retail side about uh, continuing rising rates. Uh, so having the lighter calendar eases some pressure there. Yeah, right. I think, like you mentioned, it's the ninth or tenth consecutive week of outflows for, for Lipper. Um, next week, there's a, like I said, there's a holiday on Monday. So the overall new issue calendar is a little light relative to uh, where it should be, just about $2.1 billion. The largest deal on the calendar next week is a $500 million New Jersey Turnpike transaction, which is all new money. So they're going to come to market and see what sort of uh, rates they can get there. Uh, we're also looking forward to having another relatively robust competitive calendar. Uh, this week, we were pretty active in the competitive space, so we're looking forward to that uh, continuing for the rest of the quarter. It was interesting. Certainly, uh, uh, several market analysts, uh, Matt Fabian at MMA, uh, Victor Mrai at uh, City, have reiterated their forecasts for uh, total volume of the year to end up in the 400 to 420 billion dollar range. So that would be an uptick from these last couple of weeks' activity. Um, I know some of BAM's underwriters are hearing uh, significant new issue activity from places like Texas. So uh, we'll watch uh, to see how the market uh, calendar starts to mount in the next couple of weeks. Agree. It'll be nice to watch. Great. Well, thanks for your time, Chris. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Mike. You too.